and just click on remesh and wow this is super super awesome wow hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel blender star in this video we are going to do some magic as we know we all had tree topology and creating manual topology for every single object can be so panic so for this reason i have this magic tool for you guys which can convert this boring and unusable topology to something like this doesn't seem true but this is a step by step guide to this thing so before starting the video i have a question for you guys that how you find this video have you come here from the short video that i uploaded recently or just saw the thumbnails and click on that so tell me in the comments and now let's get started okay so we are here at the blender default cube and we will start it now okay so the tool that we are going to use is the blender quad remesher 1.2 so it's an add-on for blender so i will give a link in the description for this one i will give this link or you can just search on google for quad remesher or just uh, put this website um, exosite.com if i'm pronouncing it right but it's a quad remesher add-on and it works for a lot of softwares and if you have ever use the blender z remesher tool it's somehow similar to that and almost similar to that and yeah it gives a lot of uh, it support a lot of softwares and it's so great you can see also see the examples here uh, in this website as you can see it's working really great it's not for the um, like characters like for animation and that kind of stuff because it don't really create the accurate flow but in a lot of cases it works like for clothes and for props and that kind of stuff it works really great and it saves a lot of time so uh, it's a bad add-on but it gives like 30 days free trial so you can also enjoy this video with me you can download that and play with it and if it seems worth it to you then you can buy it okay so if we come up here to the website first it says uh, with which software it's available so it's available for 3d max maya uh, adobe fusion modo blender and houdini so you can also see that it gives the blender link so you can blender download the blender from that but if you are watching this video it seems like you already know about blender and you're using that so we don't need that so just you can come up here to download a trail version and <clears throat> then you will get another thing here you have to put your email i have this rough email for that and then you have to fill, fill another form which like first name and last name then it will send a link uh, to your gmail and then you can just simply get that as i as you can see i uh, recently get this link and yeah so when you click on link it will open up this thing and you can download the blender quad remesher add-on from this one so just click on that and it will look something like this you can install it simple uh, like we always install our add-on so you can click on install and that um, okay so then once you install that as I have done it let me just show you um, it's the quad remesher 1.2 but now there's available 1.3 so you can also check that but I have experience with this one so I just did this one and yeah it's working great okay so just press N and you will in the end panel you will now get this new panel at this new menu which called quad remesher and it have all the settings uh, at the first time when you click on remesh it it will like open up a window of uh, agreement and then you have go to click on continue and do the license or whatever you have so um, also when it gave the file the zip file it have the readme so you can just um, see the installation and all the stuffs that are available so yeah you can see that it's so simple and easy and yeah you will come up to here and now let's start the fun part okay so for example i have this default queue and i want to remesh it which it don't need it but let's just give it a try and see how this works so i would like give it a 50 polygons so i need 50 quads um on this cube so let me just remesh it and it will take some time and exceed it and now it have this kind of mesh mesh which is really cool so it converted to quad but it is already quad so we don't need it let me just try this with the monkey 
and let's first I think subdivide it so we get this kind of geometry and let's just destroy the geometry with the dino topo tool so I come up here to the sculpt and turn on this thing okay let me just first first simply pick up the simplify brush and if you do that it will like um, some kind of like yeah subdivide that but it destroy the topology all the quads so if I now go to the edit mode as you can see we have this kind of weird topology and now what we have to do is let's just give it a count of 500 it have all the options um, somehow similar to the easily measure but it I tried a few and I found that it worked with the default for best but uh, one thing is really important is the symmetry so if I want the X symmetry so I can click on that and now I can click on remesh and it says that no object is selected so make sure you are selecting your object and then click on remesh again and it's taking this progress and successful and now you can see yeah this is this is super cool I think yeah it's working great uh, one thing I notice is that it's uh, minimizing some of the detail and it's because like the pulley count is a bit less for this one so let just put a thousand and now click on remesh again it will take some time according to that and yeah just see that just see how beautifully it's it's going and yeah uh, as I said in the start that it don't really work really cool in the like in the face and that kind of stuff but for a bit simpler things like this let me just show you how it works with the clothes and that kind of stuff so I have this model and it has some pretty weird topology like this but it will work because it's not um, the face kind of stuff the, the face kind of stuff is like more complex and it also need the proper loops around the eyes around the lips and that kind of stuff so that's why it's not really recommended for that but let's just check it with this one and I would put a 500 for this one and just click on remesh and wow this is super super awesome wow if, if you are a character artist you would see that how much important is this for a character artist to do some quick things and same goes for this one uh, I would put a thousand for it because it's a bit huge mesh and let's click on remesh and yeah just see that how beautiful it is it also create the flow here for the arms and yeah this is super super amazing so I think uh, that's somehow it for that you can try it with different things that you want and uh, you can play with the settings a bit uh, one thing I noticed that it don't work with the um, facets as like this remesher work with the um, with the pulley group that created so it don't work with the facets that's a bit like that but I hope this will improve more in the future and yeah this would make things pretty pretty easy in future again okay so if you like this video you can hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos and for now I think that was it so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video